and welcome to Film South Africa, coming to you from the beautiful Morel Manor House. This unforgettably magical guest house encapsulates a pure and distinct French appeal. The month of September officially marks the beginning of spring, so happy spring month to all of you, but it also marks the annual heritage month in South Africa, recognizing aspects of South African culture that are both tangible and intangible. But more on that a bit later in the month, as today's show is a diasporic melting pot, taking us from the slums of Kenya all the way to the Toronto and Venice Film Festivals. All of that after the news. The digital revolution has given rise to a new age of storytelling, where marketers are content producers and audiences are collaborators. We speak to South Africa's leading thinkers in digital technology and storytelling and find out how to win the hearts and minds of audiences in this digital age. The world's oldest surviving film festival is getting underway in Venice. The 72nd edition of what's locally known as La Mostra brings with it 11 days of red carpets, premieres and parties. Let's take a look ahead at some of the major films and big actors making their way to the 72nd edition of the Venice Film Festival. In our look at South Africa's favourite films over the past year, we've been reminded of the colourful stories our country has to tell. And so in that vein, let's look at what we can add to the list today. We're on the final stretch of Film South Africa, coming to you from Morel's Manor House, a guest house which celebrates and rejoices an old school vintage flair. Welcome back. South African films are no strangers to audiences in Toronto at the Toronto International Film Festival. And this year promises to be a very exciting one, with four made in South Africa films being screened there. As always, we've not forgotten about your education into the film production chain. And this week we speak to one that is rather important for any actor, the casting director. Keeping it on the continent, the Slum Film Festival showcases documentaries and short stories from or about slums or impoverished communities from around the world. The film festival held in Kenya and Nairobi aims at encouraging young filmmakers to tell stories that challenge stereotypes of life in the slums. 2015 sees Shout return with its third track entitled Smile. The project brings together some of South Africa's biggest celebrities and musicians who are all collaborating for a sake for South Africa. The proceeds from the sale of the new song will go towards building shout libraries throughout the country. Because of that, and because we are proud of South African, we are playing out with the aforementioned video produced by Danny Kay along with Mikasa. From me, Eloise Goble, and the entire Film Essay team, it's goodbye for now as we look forward to seeing you at the movies.